Good readings, YouTube. This is Lord Carson. Welcome back to Pokemon Gaia. Sorry. I have headphones on, so it's kind of hard for me to hear. But now I don't have headphones on. Headphones are off. I'm very uncomfortable. Let me actually lay down in my bed. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. Move that back. Oh, I missed. Alright, so this guy specializes in inverse battles. The rules of type match matchups are inversed. So, pretty much, I guess fighting types are super effective against psychic types in this. Just for an example. Let's see how this goes. This is probably going to go horribly for me. Oh, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing ground types have no effect on electric types in this mode. Yeah, that's why he's using scratch. And I'm guessing ground types are super effective against, uh, grass types, but not very effective against poison types. Okay, let's see. I'm guessing fire type is super effective against ground type. Let's see. What? That makes no sense. But you know what? Long break. Oh no. Oh crap. Um. Uh oh. Fire is super effective against water, but okay, it's pretty much the same. Yeah. But yeah. I kind of. Oh no. Okay, so bubble is not very effective against fire, but grass is in inverse battles. Man, I love this new battle mode. It makes you think. Gumi. Gumi! Um, um, what's that mean? Uh, it means that, uh, fairy types have no effect on it in inverse battles, and dragon type is not very effective? I don't know, but Dragon is super effective against Fairy, so do not use Vaults. What does that mean for Grass types? Okay, let's go ahead and... S what? Oh. Fuck. Oh, well, that's super effective. <laughs> Shit. Oh boy. Um, let's go over to Monferno. Because I think fire type is super effective against dragon in this. And that's super effective. Fuck. Luckily, freaking Gumi isn't the strongest of fighters. Yeah. This means we're... Wait, every... Okay. First through at least sixth, it looks like, is in this game. I love... I love inverse battles. Okay. Real talk, though. Inverse battles are now one of my most favorite battle, uh, are now one of my most, one of my most favorite battle types. Because it makes you think. Like, it makes you rethink everything. I hope that there is a gym like that. 
Just an inverse gym. If there is not, I'm going to be severely disappointed. Not enough to actually stop playing the game. One sec, I gotta get Shinx's Florence Spark. I think it happens at level level 13. If not, I'll just get it to level 14. Or maybe I'll evolve it. Uh, one sec. Alright, got it. It literally only took me two wild encounters. And in real time, that was literally like 30 seconds. Not even that, I think it was like 15. Because it's like 3x. Who are you? Okay. Some don't look right about you. What is that Pokeball? Oh, someone told me about a specific Natu in this game. Oh, well. <laughs> someone told me, like, someone was gonna use a level 14 Natu, and it was one of the most annoying things you'd ever face. Because it just spammed Nightshade. Apparently this fucker could take out... Wait. Would normal time moves be super effective against Ghost? In an inverse battle? Like I said, I hope... I hope there's an inverse battle gym that has like every single type of Pokemon so that... I'd have to think up strategies on the fly. I like... I like when Pokemon games, I don't know, break the rules, I guess. Air quotes. Because it forces you to think more. Oh really, this Hoot Hoot's gonna be annoying too? There we go. Bye bye Hoot Hoot. Another not to. Oh boy. Oh, there's a night shading not to. Let me just go ahead and heal, then I'll be right back in the museum. Really? There's so many. Do they all have flying types? Oh wait, no, one had a bundle bee. Okay, yeah, they don't. I'm just gonna go ahead and take you and switch you out with Badoo. Ouch. Roserite is one of my favorite uh, grass poison types. I don't know why, it's just so satisfying. Seriously, because if you can get your Badu to kick ass enough, then you'll be rewarded with uh, Roselia 
And then if you find a shiny stone, a shiny stone, then you actually get Rose Raid, which... Oh, you're a tat. Also, how'd you get that? How did you get that? You only get Armanite from reviving a Helix Fossil. Do you get a Helix Fossil and then revive it? Imagine if uh, some of these fossils were actually Pokemon. Like you could actually send out your Helix Fossil into battle and then it had to get to level 20 to evolve. Or something like that. But they had shit stats because they couldn't really move. <laughs> Don't interrupt. Yes. His name is Charles. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Wait, how much prize money do I have? Eight four six eight eight four six eight. Okay, apparently, I got what combination is one, one, zero, four. Okay, but apparently, I'm supposed to save before going in there. Go ahead and slap a big old save sprite. Hi! Ping us! Meme Lord. Okay, Weedle. Well, wow, okay. Okay, um. 
Wow. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead. <laughs> I'll remember that that's there. At least I'll try to. Kind of like how I forgot about some important battles in uh, Pokemon Dark Rising. But let's go. Let's. Oh, yeah. Ooh. This place is open now. Oh, hello. Oh, God. Hang on, maybe I can use it. Wow. Oh, of course you have own fucking tempo. God. Fuck you. You have dual chop, so I'll just go ahead and, uh... Oh, and now you're gonna use double hit. Thanks, dick. A level does first evolve again? Oh yeah, it was 20. Why didn't I just use lock punch? Ow. Ow. Oh, wait. I didn't do much. Alright. Get out of here, bitch. Ooh, there's like a paint master or something back there. More smeagol, nice. Yikes. Okay, so they all have own tempo. Good to know. Oh, you have priority moves. Okay, so they each... They each say something before you battle them. Like the first one used... First one used, um... Double hitting moves. Or multi-hitting moves. The second one is using priority moves. She quit. I don't know what doing that would do, anyway. You'd still gonna use priority moves. I guess there'd be a couple turns where you can't actually attack. But fun fact, I think this is a thing, but if they use priority moves, there's more of a chance that you'll miss them. If your... If the accuracy of said move is less than 100%. I don't know, I think that's a thing. Not sure if that's actually a thing. Like, it's not been confirmed or denied as far as I know. But I think it's a thing in Gen 3. What? Watch your step. Let's see. What does that mean? Do you use moves like Sucker Punch? Oh! You use switching moves. Oh, you do that. 
you use things like Stealth Rock and Spikes, and then force them to switch out so they take damage. Oh, you're one of those people. That's actually a really clever strategy, I'm not gonna lie. But it's also the quickest way to lose friends. And potential friends. So I'm guessing you use two turn attacks. Two turn charging moves. Oh no! Those moves are deadly as shit! He's gonna use fucking sky attack! And now you're gonna use solar beam. I'm glad your stats are kind of low, on, uh, kind of on the lower side, because otherwise, whoa, boy, I would have. Oh yay, yeah, Shinx is evolving! Yeah, Luxio. I knew it was the art master. Oh boy, are you gonna use every tactic that they did? Oh no, you are, aren't you? Oh no, you're gonna use a completely different one. What? Wait a sec. Are you just gonna use simple moves? Is that what you do? Cause that sucks. Okay, you use Tackle and Whirlpool. Some tells me he does use simple moves. <sighs> Yay, Flame Wheel! I was expecting a challenge and I got a simpleton. Tackle, whirlpool, <laughs> and nothing from the third one. But what say you, fourth smeagle? Nothing? Okay. Bye. Is this seriously going to be a simple battle? almost tempted to go back to the meme master. 
Oh, hello, level 18. What say you? Nothing, again. Oh my god. Two turns. Oh, shut up. Please don't tell me it's a Smeagol. Ooh, it's Pokemon Egg. Please tell me it's not a fucking Smeagol in this egg. Please tell me it's something good, like Togepi or something. Please tell me it's at least something interesting and not Smeagol. Smeagol, all it is, it's... It, it's, um... It's a copycat, that's what it is. It's a fucking copycat, and you know what they say about co It's actually a copy dog. Let's go! It's breaking up. Apex tempo. <laughs> of course, it's Rock Smash. Please tell me, like, Luxio can learn it, because I don't want to have an HM slave known as... Oh, wait! Actually, that's... that's pretty powerful! Kind of like how Cut has been turned into a bug time move, Rock Smash is... FUCKING POWERFUL! Well, fuck, fuck, um, fuck. Jesus. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Pokemon Gaia. Whoever made this. I salute you. Fuck it, Al. Well, hey, you didn't have to look at me. What? Oh, you suck. Ow. Oh, thanks. You just took away your baby strength. Bye, shield on. Yo, dude's up next. Yo, up a do. I'm sorry, I just want to pass in peace. Mm. Mean foo. I don't like mean foo when I'm fighting against it. But... It's not me, Shao. 
That fucker's got some serious attack problem. I almost... I, I don't trust it. I was about to say, I almost don't trust this, but now I completely don't trust this. Well, I kind of should have trusted it. But you never know, right? Besides, at least we also got some uh, HP out of it. Scraggy, this is your time to shine, Roll Seagull. Ralts. 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 Why? You see that? Look at. Did you just fucking see Zubat? I'm pretty sure he could easily kick Zubat's ass, and yet he just. he just bested you. Ooh, TM. Oh, come on, that sucks. I don't like Dwebble. Okay, I don't like these long, narrow passageways that harbor shit like this. Oh, you have that type? Nice, bro. Nice. Come kind of that type you got? Ooh, Ion, that's a good one. But it's also the pain in the ass kind of Pokemon, you know? Because, well, one, that, and two, that. Oh yeah, and three that. It can learn that naturally. I know, I hate it too. Oh, I really don't like that. Why are you using a dark type move against a fighting type Pokemon again? Do you not have rock type moves? H how? Well, you have rock types. I have a fighting type. It speaks for itself, right? I mean, come on. If you were going up against a fighting type, sure it has a fire type second, but still. Self explanatory, wouldn't you agree? Eagle Stone? Well, hold on now, what's this?
Okay. At least it lets me heal, I guess. It's gonna be it for this, uh, episode of Pokemon Gaia. Some interesting shit happened. Um, but I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, guys.